Imagine having one extra day every week, more time to cook healthy meals, work on that novel, or just binge some good reality TV. Now it's all possible with ClickUp, the productivity platform that'll save you one day a week on work guaranteed. It's packed with features and customization options that no other productivity tool has, so you can work the way you work best. Use code BizTech to get 15% off ClickUp's massive unlimited plan for a year, meaning you can start reclaiming your time for under $5 a month. Sign up today at ClickUp.com and use code BizTech. Hurry, this offer ends soon. Is your computer slower than it used to be? Or short on storage? Whether you're a gamer, a professional, or a typical browser like me, you want high-speed performance and lots of space for all your stuff. Crucial.com has the answer. With easy-to-install memory and storage upgrades, your computer can be like new again without the cost of replacing it. Visit Crucial.com today and use promo code CRUCIAL10, in all caps, to get 10% off your next order. This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Karen Hopkin. They say that lions are the king of the jungle. But a recent study shows that a single spritz of oxytocin, a hormone known to promote social bonding, renders even the most ornery alpha a total pussycat. The findings appear in the journal iScience. Oh, the greatest thing about watching lions is that lions are so openly and extravagantly affectionate with each other. Craig Packer, director of the Lion Center at the University of Minnesota. He's been traveling to the Serengeti since the 1970s to study the social behavior of these big cats. They just rub each other with their foreheads. Their chins are just in each other's faces. I mean, they're just really into each other. And then when they calm down and it's time to go back to sleep, you know, one will flop down and then it'll flop on top of it. So it's very endearing. I've always loved lions. Jessica Burkhart is a grad student in Packer's Pack. But what is it about lions that is so different than their closest relative, the leopard, and then their next closest, the tiger, who are completely solitary? And the first thing that came to mind was oxytocin. They call oxytocin the love hormone, but that sounds like love potion number nine. I prefer to think of it as the affection hormone. If you have a nice warm hug, that burst of feeling you get, that's oxytocin. And so the lions would be like a perfect example of a species that you want to try to see what you could do with the oxytocin. They conducted the study at a wildlife sanctuary in South Africa, where their first challenge was figuring out how to get the hormone into the lions. Jessica surprised me with this uh, perfume sprayer, which I just thought was so ingenious. And uh, it worked out really, really well. It's like a little glass bottle with a long tip. And then there's a bulb. So I have to pump the bulb, and then the tip is about six inches long. Burkhart would lure a lion over to the enclosure fence by waving a tasty hunk of meat. Once I hold that meat and the animal's grabbing it, I can kind of just stick it in the fence into their nostril and spray away. (laughs) The cats put up with the nasal invasion as long as they got their grub. But if Burkhart spritzed a lion after the meat was gone... You should see their faces. They go, huh? Like, how dare you take a cheap shot on me? They take it personally. (laughs) Oh, it's so funny. The researchers then assessed oxytocin's effects in several different behavioral situations. The first was seeing whether the hormone would make a lion less territorial when it comes to a desirable toy or a snack. Normally, lions are pretty protective of their possessions particularly those that can be eaten. They'll growl and they'll snarl and they smack and they scratch and they snap. So a lot of times you will just get this sort of reactive behavior where they're going to just kind of lash out um, to be like, get off. When it came to the toys, oxytocin did help to curb that reactive behavior, allowing other lions to come much closer. But it didn't do much for their monopolistic attitude toward meals which Burkhardt says was not entirely unexpected. With the toy, you know, you're playful. You you might be more inclined to having your partners play with you. When you have a food object, it's a much more primal instinct. So with the food trial, it's that, you know, innate desire to survive that causes this very reactive aggression. Seeing that oxytocin suppressed aggression in one situation, but not the other, actually reassured the researchers that the hormone wasn't just making the lions Totally dopey. 
It doesn't, you know, make your brain completely different, but it's like drinking your coffee in the morning. If you're a testosterone-fueled grumpy Gus, it could render you almost delightfully demure. Oh my gosh, within minutes of the oxytocin, that guy was completely chilled out. And I mean, when we were giving him his oxytocin, he was growling, smacking the fence, totally insane, testosterone brain, and then he just completely mellowed out. But even more dramatic was the third test, in which the researchers played an audio recording of an unfamiliar lion's roar. <laughs> Which can be as unnerving as it sounds. That's like having a stranger in your bedroom saying, I own this place, right? Now, in the control conditions, in which lions got spritzed with a simple saline solution, about half of them roared in return, maybe 50 or 60 times. <laughs> That's about right. So half of the lions are going to actually roar and the other half are going to be looking, probably standing behind the guy who's roaring <laughs> and just looking and watching. But when the lions were dosed with oxytocin, there were zero. I mean, zero. They, they completely did not roar. That was astounding. You could just see this difference in demeanor. So they just laid there and they looked, they turned their heads, they were curious. And they watched, but they're not getting up, puffing up, scent marking, and roaring, roaring, roaring. With the oxytocin, it's like, oh, strangers, no big deal. And in some cases, it just seemed like, well, they're more interested in head rubbing with each other rather than worrying about the stranger. The results give the team hope that oxytocin could provide a more effective way to introduce new lions into sanctuaries or reserves. Because getting animals to become used to and accept strangers in their midst is an enormous challenge. And that would be a big boost for conservation efforts. And very key to using oxytocin to actually make a difference in the world. A world with more tolerance and less roaring. Sounds darn near perfect. For Scientific Americans, 60 Second Science, I'm Karen Hopkin. So lions will do these sequences where they're like, roar, roar, uh, uh. And then they do grunts. <laughs>